Hello everyone, welcome back to Odoo 14 development. We were discussing about advanced views in last few videos. Now we are going to check how the security aspects of Odoo is working. So here we use group based access control mechanism in Odoo. So these uh, groups are elements of restored group table and uh, we can grant uh, menu access via uh, menu definition that you may have seen in our first videos we created menus so there we can mention and which group can access uh, that menu so if you didn't mention any groups it will be available for all uh, if you mention uh, any group it will only available for that groups same way we can uh, give uh, access to specific records specific views and everything and uh, there will be read write create on link options that we can allow or uh, we can disable for that specific group so the access rights uh, are defined saved on another table it's called ir model access so each access right is associated to a model a business object a group and a set of permissions so a, each access right should be linked to a model and then it will be specified for a specific group and we can give a set of permissions like read write create only so this can be uh, added into the system using a csv file or a xml uh, data file so we can we can have a look at the uh, that uh, generation creating those access right through user interface at first odos user interface at first so what we are going to do is we are going to create a new user a new user on our database So we are giving John have save. Then we are going to create a new group. It's called session read. Sorry. session read application is open academy okay the model is not visible here an academy session so then sorry session access open academy session read write create delete I have given all the permissions now I'm just clicking save and then we can go back to the users so this john is here and i can give access to him yes as you can see the session read is came here we can click i can check this uh, box and click save now uh, john smith have access to that record the sessions he can actually read session now currently we are looking as a super user because we haven't set uh, any access right for our open academy module 
so if you if we have to access all these records till now we should we must have to be logged in super user mode so now we are going to log out and uh, uh, jo uh, log in as a john so before doing that we have to reset the password of john change password log out john tab password so now he have access to open academy but only to positions he don't have access to the course model so this is uh, how we create and give access rights uh, through the user interface of odoo now we can go back to the super user mode mm. see uh, this uh, admin don't have the access because we haven't given the access to the session read option so let's switch to super user again so now we have access to all then next thing that we are going to do is we are going to add the access right using the uh, ir.access file okay data files so for that first we are going to create a uh, group So for that we need in a security dot xml file so you can you can choose whatever name you need but uh, it is so meaningful that's why uh, odoo recommends and uh, we use security dot xml and it's a record that as we mentioned it's a record on restored groups model so we put a record tab and then uh, we give a group manager name sorry id and the name is open academy slash manager so uh, this is a open academy manager user group then uh, the next thing that we have to do is we have to add a file that's called ir.model.access so this must be the same name you cannot have different name uh, since the system is just checking the name and adding these records into the uh, into the database so here you can see the first line is the name of the columns so first is id then name then the model id model id uh, the slash id we have to provide the uh, external id of that model so here the model underscore open academy underscore course so this model is added on to our open academy uh, course name class name and then the name of that uh, group so if you are adding any access right uh, for any group that is uh, defined out of this module then you can put the name of that uh, module dot group manager so if you want to give any access to the sales manager you have to put sales dot group manager or uh, sales dot uh, sales manager something like that then uh, the one 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 it represents the uh, permission read true permission write true permission create true and permission unlink true so this group manager have all the access to the model open academy course same as the session manager will uh, will be having all the access to the uh, open academy sessions then the course read all so everyone call everyone can access because uh, here uh, we don't have mentioned we haven't mentioned the group so it will be applicable for all all the users all the individual users of the system so uh, all the users they can read the sessions and courses they don't have any uh, permission to create or uh, delete or anything okay so 
these are the uh, access rights that we are going to apply for our uh, open academy object course and session then after adding these two files we have to mention that in on to our uh, manifest file so this manifest.py file uh, under the data you have to mention the security dot security slash because it comes under the security folder then security dot xml then uh, the security ir dot model dot access csv file so we have added both those files into our system then let's because uh, we made ch some changes in the python file so we have to restart this then let's uh, go back to our open academy module in the apps let's go to the favorites yes update so we have upgraded our module and let's go back to open academy everything is same then let's switch back to okay switch back to our admin or john let's go to john okay before that let's go to admin now we have set anyone can read the courses and sessions that's what the access right says so let's check whether it is working or not so here the courses i cannot create because the create option everything is uh, now disabled i can go to sessions no default view type okay something this is some error no problem okay so anyway this administrator can't have uh can do anything he can just read the records that there is okay so in this case he can read the sessions sorry or can read the courses he cannot make any changes now let's go back to the john john login open academy Open Academy sessions, he, he only have the read right. Now let's go to our admin again and give access to John to have the manager access. Let's go to settings, manage users, John, edit. Here we have the Open Academy manager. Okay save user mm, we have, yeah open academy manager yes so let's go to john again open academy here you can see the courses or he can edit the courses or he can delete the courses whatever you want he can do so now let's uh, check what is happen in our uh, users and groups okay the access rights let's go to admin again settings just groups open yes you can see under the groups it's automatically created uh, it's taken from our csv file open academy slash manager and the user john is uh, added here and this is the access right that we have given course manager all the access is given session manager all the access is given and we can check for other group that's a session read so under the session read we have the jo we have john and the access rights we have session access read write create delete access so uh, these are the uh, 
security one of the security aspects of Odoo and uh, I hope you understand how we can create new users groups and give access right to them from user interface of Odoo and also from the uh, data files CSV file and XML file campaign so I hope you enjoy the video thanks for watching if you have any doubts please put down the comment session we will try our best to answer your queries thanks for watching once again see you on the next video Thank you.